Hey, what's going on guys? So back with another informational video and as you can see this video is going to be about candy as an intra workout carb. Now just a disclaimer, I love candy. This isn't a shot against candy or anyone else that likes candy. I just want to put out some good scientific information out there and kind of debunk a common myth that's been spread around the YouTubes. <laughs> So eating candy has been very popular in the YouTube fitness game as you guys have seen in a bunch of people's videos, small channels, big channels, they all love to eat candy intra workout. And some of my favorite YouTubers actually, some of my favorite fitness YouTubers are saying that it's great as a, you know, it's great because it tastes good, it makes working out fun, but they also say that it's a great intra workout carb because it's fast digesting and it gives you extra energy and that extra kick that you need to finish out your workout. And that's simply not true. And although these are my favorite fitness YouTubers, they're completely wrong. It's complete bro science. I'm going to explain why, giving you two quick reasons why candy as an intro workout carb does not work. So as you guys may or may not know, there's two things that need to happen in order for your body to use food as energy, and that's digestion and absorption. So as soon as you consume carbohydrates, it needs to undergo digestion first. And most people know that digestion takes place in the stomach for carbs, and after digestion we have absorption. and Typically, digestion takes from anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes if it's a simple sugar. And quite frankly, if you're working out and you're probably in the middle of your workout, maybe towards the beginning to middle of your workout, about 20 minutes into your actual workout, and you start eating candy as an intra workout carb, chances are that you know that candy is not going to get digested in that 15 to 45 minute window. By the time it gets digested, you might only have 10 to 15 minutes left in your workout, assuming you're working out for an hour to an hour and a half. The same principle applies to absorption. Your small intestine needs time. It takes time to actually, you know, convert the glucose into glycogen, send it to the liver and store it. And if you've had a couple meals throughout the day and you're working out in the afternoon to the evening or nighttime, or even if you had breakfast, your body has a certain amount of liver glycogen stores and muscle glycogen stores. And for those of you that don't know, glycogen is basically what your body uses to, you know, metabolize energy if you're working out. So this isn't always the case if you're an endurance athlete, if you're running marathons, cycling, swimming, you might even see tennis players munch on little snacks because they're playing, you know, a three to four hour tennis match at times. It's not the case because that can benefit you because, you know, you're working out for an extended period of time and your body will have time to replenish to digest, absorb, and replenish those glycogen stores that your body has already depleted throughout you know, their performance. The other reason why candy doesn't give you that extra kick and that extra drive to finish out your workout has something to do with blood flow dynamics in your body. So while your body is at rest in a rested state, you're not exercising, you need blood flow throughout the body to the muscles, to different organs, to the brain, to the skin, pretty much to everywhere in your body. And a lot of the research shows that total blood flow to the muscles at rest is about 20%. So if you're at rest just sitting around maybe watching this video, your body's only using about 20% of its total blood flow volume for, towards skeletal muscles. Now this number definitely increases about four times, the, you know, the numbers kind of vary between person to person and it's also dependent on intensity and duration. But if you're in an exercise state, this 20% will jump to about 80%, maybe 70 to 80 to 90% if you're doing like an extremely cardiovascular endurance workout. But this number increases, and that means that there's less blood flow to other organ systems. So while your body is at rest, all the blood flow that isn't sent to your skeletal muscles is sent to your organs. You know, the majority of your blood flow is sent to your liver, small intestine, and hepatic portal vein, which are all very crucial for digestion and absorption. If you think about it intuitively, if you're exercising and all of that blood flow is being sent to your muscles for nourishment, and replenishment, and all that other good stuff, then only about 20% of that is being sent to you know your organ system. So when you're exercising, it's not really a priority to digest food. There's no blood. There's not much blood flow going on in your you know in your GI tract. So digestion is definitely slower. So it all comes down to duration. Now there's not enough time in your workout to eat candy and to expect it to digest and absorb and be used to give you that extra boost. It's just simply not enough time. And secondly, your body isn't concerned with digesting and absorbing while it's working out. It's concerned with actually fueling the muscles, fueling your heart and your cardiovascular system. That's where all the energy is being put to when you're working out. I will say that, you know, a lot of my favorite fitness YouTubers say that it gives them your, you know, an extra boost and physiologically it's impossible. It doesn't. If you're just lifting, it won't do that. But I do always preach, you know, there is a gray area and I do always preach the psychological benefit because lifting is a large, large amount 
It's hugely psycho psychological. Um, so if you feel that, you know, candy helps you pre, in, not pre-workout, intra workout, then go ahead and eat your candy. I love candy. I drink, I personally sip on Gatorade sometimes if I'm feeling dehydrated, maybe once a month, not even that often, but there you go. That's the reason why candy as an intra workout carb, it does not work. So that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. This, this channel is mostly about training vlogs, but I like to throw some informational content out there every now and then. If you guys do like it, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And definitely share this video with a friend who might, you know, be eating candy or Gatorade or sipping, I don't know, whatever they eat as an intro workout carb, a simple sugary carb. Go ahead and share this video with them and hopefully, you know, it can shed some light on, you know, this myth that's going on this the YouTubes. So that's going to wrap this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.